I doubt that it is this easy. Dang it! Yo! You read the title of this video. Let's solve this clock today. <laughs> this ain't no Rubik's clock. But this is. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. You know what clock I'm talking about. It is obviously this infamous little guy here. This is the Rubik's clock. It was invented in 1988. Not by Rubik's, lol. He just bought the patent and brought it out under his own name. And that's why it's still one of the WCA puzzles, which is kind of weird because all the puzzles do this. And this one, well, not so much. But today I grabbed all my courage, prepared for all the memes and decided to solve my first Rubik's clock. So the goal of the puzzle is to get all of the pointers to point towards the two red lines. On both sides. Yes, there's two sides. We can use these switches. I just flipped the switch. So I just had to Google the Rubik's clock because I didn't want to say anything too dumb. I hope I haven't done that already. Switches? But according to Wikipedia, these are called wheels. These are buttons and they're either in or out. There's nine clocks on each side of the puzzle. I mean, let's just try something. Let's just see how this works because I have no idea. If they're all out, everything turns. If I just press this one, the corner turns. If just this one is out, everything around it turns i see i see like whatever pin is out everything around it turns this is just the corner this is everything and if i press this down everything around the three buttons that are out should be turning and i also noticed something right away so when you turn a wheel the dial connected to the wheel always turns duh that makes perfect sense but that also means that both sides of the corners should always be the same. So when you solve all the corners, they should be solved on both sides. I guess what we could try to do is try to match the centers on both sides first. So this one is pointing up. Now this one too. I guess the next thing we could try to do is match it to another one. So let's say... Okay, so I match these two, but this one is not matched anymore. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch tactics because I think it's too difficult to be switching around all the time. So what I can do is just try to solve one side first and then go for the next one, I suppose. So the good thing is we have these two matching already. So let's just point them up. So we have two of the 18 clocks. So we have one ninth of the puzzle solved. Uh, 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 that's pretty impressive, I would say. So I think the best way to do this is to just work with these two right now, match it to another clock, like we matched it with this one, and then turn these three to match this one right here. So remember that the button that is out or buttons Every clock around it turns with it. So we're gonna match it to the last one right here. Uh, everything out and match it to up. Damn, that's good. That's hot. The only thing we need to do right now is a soon. Can you see that? Because we have like the, the fish solve. Can you see that? Okay, that was stupid. If this one is the only pressed in... Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Just like that. We're done, guys. Clock is solved. I just dropped my clock. I just dropped my clock. Um, so let's see. Uh, so the thing I want to figure out right now is what turns we can do without messing up the cross. Like, we know we can always finish the corners at the end because they always match. So let's, let's focus on the cross right now. So if this button is in, we can turn the wheel without messing this one up. But it will actually... It will actually twist a couple of wheels uh, on the other side. So let's see what we can do with that. Um, yeah, let's start matching again. So we have these two. Only one out. These are matching. These are matching. <gasps> Everything is matching. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this one is... Okay, now I'm pretty confused. So this side is, is pointing towards one o'clock and this one is at noon. Okay, 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 we got this. Guys, you're witnessing a mastermind right now. So actually the, the question right now is, um, if we just have this one down, we should be able to turn. 
Wait, is it this easy? I doubt that it is this easy. Damn it! <laughs> what went wrong? Oh, yeah, I cannot do this. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We managed to fix it again. So, uh, once more. Okay, so what we can do is have one dial down, but actually use the rest of the, the pointers. So these are all matching now. Um. Yes, it's getting serious now. And let's go. So I match these three, then I match these four. Everything is matched. Oh, I'm holding the clock upside down. Oops. Uh, then we're going to do this side. So the, these are all matched now. These four are matched. Everything is matched with the bumps. The corners, crazy fast. Guys, I would argue that I have a lot of talent. And team sub 30. That has to be like some sort of record, guys. Like, I have to say, like, I am enjoying clock a lot. I spent at least an hour last night practicing clock. And it was probably the best hour I've ever spent. I want to learn everything. I want to learn new techniques. I want to learn new methods. I want to know everything that there is to know about this Rubik's clock. So, guys, that's why I'm announcing that I will be starting a series called Clock Road to World Record. Nah, I just made that all up. You know, if you want to practice clock yourself, apparently this clock has like hundreds of magnets and is like way better than any clock out there. So if you want to practice clock with me, order yourself one on the cubicle.com and use discount code CUBEHEAD for crazy discount. Discount is huge. Anyways, guys, I solved the clock. Video is over. Ciao.